Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us today. My name is Nicole, and I'm a project engineer here at HTDC Innovate Hawaii. We are a state agency attached to the Department of Business, Economic Development, and Tourism. We are the state's NIST Manufacturing Extension Partnership Center and help small and medium-sized manufacturers to scale their business. Today, we will be talking about our e-commerce and digital marketing cohort program. I would now like to introduce my colleague, Ellen Ong, Economic Development Specialist at HTDC, who will be able to provide an overview of the program. Ellen, I think you're on mute. Oop, sorry. Can you hear me now? Okay, great. Thank you everybody for joining us uh, this afternoon. Um, as Nicole mentioned, the session is uh, recorded. So, you know, if you missed out on any details, we'll be sending the recording to you uh, shortly after this session. Okay, let me just go in really quickly into, you know, why we're doing this and why, you know, as a manufacturer or a business um, considering, you know, um, going to manufacturing, you should think about e-commerce and digital marketing. So you know, just some statistics to start off, um, you know, without going too much into details, you guys can see that, you know, the, the trend for e-commerce is definitely upward um, and it's not going to change. And again, we know with uh, COVID numbers rising back up, I think uh, the demand for e-commerce is going to be stronger than what was projected. The numbers that you see are actually taken pre-pandemic uh, early last year. So, um, you know, for most of our manufacturers, the, um, I would say, focus is very much on the U.S. Um, here in Hawaii and also the U.S. mainland in terms of target markets. Uh, for most of people going into e-commerce, you know, in the U.S., Amazon is, you know, of course, like a no-brainer, Amazon is the first platform that most of them had, have had their first experience with e-commerce. Um, but because of that experience, they're also diversifying and looking at other platforms where they can actually purchase goods and services. Uh, for some of our manufacturers who have gone through the programs with us or who are more advanced in e-commerce because they have been working uh, on it over the last couple of years. Japan is another market internationally that um, some of our manufacturers um, are looking at. Or, you know, we actually encourage you to think about um, Japan as another market that you should, you know, consider if you are expanding your business. So what is this whole e-commerce and digital marketing program about? Go to my next slide. So the purpose of this program, it all started, um, I would say in August last year, because a lot of our manufacturers were coming to us with the same questions uh, around e-commerce and digital marketing. And of course, you know, with the pandemic, a lot of the manufacturers were losing, um, you know, accounts with, you know, some of the big box retailers here on the island. Um, and also, you know, tourist numbers were declining, so they didn't have, they also lost, you know, that uh, avenue of uh, sales opportunity. So, you know, when they were coming to us with um, questions about e how to start up on e-commerce and how to do digital marketing to target, you know, markets um, outside of Hawaii, um, as well as service local customers through e-commerce, we realized that we were getting a lot of the same questions. And, you know, to make it more efficient and to ensure that we were teaching people the same things, um, you know, across the board, we decided to create um, our, you know, what we call now the e-commerce and digital marketing program. So we're actually going into our third cohort. We started our first cohort last year in August, and then we did another cohort um, earlier this year. Both cohorts were slightly different in structure, and actually cohort uh, number three, the upcoming one, is going to be, uh, I would say, also radically different from the last two cohorts. Um, you know, kind of built using a lot of the, um, you know, feedback that we got from the last two cohorts so that, you know, we're actually optimizing the content um, and getting, you know, the best instructors for manufacturers who are joining us in this upcoming cohort. So the objectives of this, you know, first and foremost, if you are thinking, hey, you know, I can come into this cohort and they'll build a website for me, that's not the case. Um, the purpose for us in doing this is, you know, number one, to show you and to guide you through a strategic way to approach e-commerce and digital marketing. So e-commerce, you know, it's people 
a lot of people think it's just, oh, I'm setting up a website. I put a couple of products on it and then, you know, it's just going to sell on its own. And typically that's not the case. Um, I usually recommend businesses going to e-commerce to think of it as an extension of your existing operations and, the, you know, of your business. So the best e-commerce um, platforms out there are very much embedded within the entire business strategy for the company and not an entity that just stands on its own. Digital marketing, again, it's, you know, it complements e-commerce. Um, but I would say if you don't have a proper e-commerce platform, you know, digital marketing is not going to do any wonders for you. So, you know, because of that, you know, in that line of thinking for this upcoming cohort, we decided to make it a little different, which I will share more later. Another objective for this program is, you know, to help you adopt e-commerce and digital marketing fundamentals, because we don't really understand the fundamentals um, you know, you're just, you know, you're, you're not really uh, incorporating the best practices um, within e-commerce and digital marketing. And then there's going to be a lot of problems that come up for you that may be expensive. So, you know, we, we feel that it's really important for you to understand, um, you know, the basics and, you know, the, the building blocks of e-commerce and digital marketing before you actually do more advanced stuff um, in the future. We will also equip you with um, the tools or some of the, I would say, leading platforms that uh, digital marketers use and people and businesses going to e-commerce would use. Thirdly, I think um, if you talk to other manufacturers who have been through the program with us, um, I would say that the third point or the third objective is actually the most valuable for a lot of them. So through this program, they're actually able to connect and communicate with, you know, a lot of um practitioners who also function as uh, instructors for this program. So, you know, it's typically what I hear when I speak to a lot of um, manufacturers and businesses is that they don't know the right questions to ask, they don't know what to ask, and they don't know who would be a compelling or valuable um, expert that, you know, they can trust. So, you know, through our program, you'll be able to connect with a lot of these people um, since they also have been vetted, you know, by us, um, I would say that, you know, it's easier, the, the idea of trust, you know, it's not, it's not as important, but more of, okay, is this, this the best person I can communicate with and work with, um, given that, you know, their skills and expertise has been vetted already. And lastly, I think what's also really important is going through this program, um, and graduating from it, a lot of our manufacturers have developed this confidence when it comes to e-commerce and digital marketing. So that, you know, they know that, okay, you know, they know what they don't know and they know how to approach it in a way that is the best for their business. Um, so I would say, you know, develop, developing confidence is one of um, the big objectives of this program as well. So the approach that we are taking for this, you know, there are three tiers to this program first is to learn and then practice and refine. So by learning, um, you know, you come to class, uh, there's gonna be a three hour lecture um, every week. And, you know, in our first cohort, we didn't have um, assignments. Um, and, you know, we felt that that was really critical. So we kind of built that in into our second cohort and we saw a lot of benefits uh, from assignments. So the purpose of the assignments was for you to take what you learn in class through the lecture content and apply it either to your business or through like a group exercise uh, with other manufacturers in the cohort. And then lastly, to refine is, you know, through the one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions that we will set up for you um, with, you know, some of our domain experts so that you can ask uh, pertinent and relevant questions um, with regards to your business specifically. So, three tiers in terms of approach. And so far we have, you know, based on the experience we had with the last two cohorts, um, you know, I think we have refined it to a point where it works pretty well and we're really excited to see what happens in this upcoming cohort. So this will be the biggest difference um, in our upcoming cohort compared to the last two. So, you know, in the last two cohorts, we only had one track, which was a merge track between e-commerce and digital marketing. Um, however, we felt that because of, you know, the, the, the types of businesses or manufacturers that were coming in and the different stages that they were at, it wasn't, you know, the best um, way to approach it um, because some businesses, you know, didn't have good e-commerce platforms, so it didn't make sense for them to do digital marketing. 
and there were some that were more advanced in e-commerce and really needed more digital marketing help. So we couldn't put everything into one track um, in the last two cohorts. And that's why for this cohort specifically, we are splitting the content into two different tracks so that the manufacturers can focus on what's more important for them, depending on the stage of um, your business. So for e-commerce, you know, I would say it's targeted at businesses um, or manufacturers with little to no experience in e-commerce. So if you don't have a properly functioning website right now, um, you know, there's really no point for you to do any digital marketing because you're just wasting your money. You're bringing people into a store that is not, you know, the best, um, best design to actually service them. So for companies like this, you know, we would actually put you towards the e-commerce track so that you can, you know, get your website optimized uh, and up and running properly before you spend any money in digital marketing. And the other track, the second track, digital marketing track is for companies or manufacturers that already have an optimized e-commerce website. So, you know, you don't need a lot of changes. Um, all the fundamentals for e-commerce are there. Um, you're already doing best practices with your e-commerce platform, but you are ready to scale uh, with a lot more resources dedicated to digital marketing. So that's, um, this will be the pathway that we will put you on and, you know, you'll get access to um, other, you know, domain experts within this field. So in terms of the structure, um, we have um, our upcoming cohort. It's, uh, we are hoping to start it on August 23rd and it will run for 10 weeks all the way to October 29th. And um, it's going to be every week uh, for 10 weeks. So from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. For Tuesday, um, it's gonna be our e-commerce track and for Wednesday, it's gonna be our digital marketing track. Each manufacturer admitted into this cohort will be given 10 one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions that you would schedule with the domain expert on the site. Um, and you can meet with them and ask them all the questions that you have uh, pertaining to a certain topic that they are covering. Um, the class will be virtual, so you'll be taught over Zoom. And, you know, other class tools that we use um, would include Slack and email for communication. And we will also teach you how to use Trello uh, for project management and for class uh, kind of access to the class documents and, and so on. For class size, we are looking to admit up to 15 manufacturers per track. Um, so 15 for e-commerce and 15 for digital marketing. And we are going to, we are allowing up to two representatives for manufacturer. In fact, we are encouraging that each manufacturer bring, you know, um, at least another person you know, with the, if it's the owner, another person with the owner, so that, you know, um, you have more coverage um, during the class and you have someone to brainstorm with as you go through the program together. Uh, in terms of investment, it's gonna be $600 to participate in this program. Uh, if you think about it, it's about $60 per class uh, and, you know, I personally, I think it's a worthwhile investment and we will leave you with some testimonials from other manufacturers that you can reach out to directly to ask about their experience and the benefit that they got through this program. Okay, so what are we actually covering? So for e-commerce, as you can see in the top uh, right-hand panel, you know, topics that we are covering would include, um, you know, all the best, all the tools that you need um, to create the best e-commerce um, you know, platform. So we start with strategy and then we look at UX UI uh, in terms of how you lay it out. Um, branding is very important. The aesthetics is super important for uh, an e-commerce website. And that's something that a lot of businesses do not get, do not do properly. Then we will look at SEO, reputation management in terms of how do you leverage reviews. Um, there's a high level component of analytics and of course, photography, videography, and um, one of the areas that, you know, that's increasingly being uh, important but not looked at is data and privacy because you guys are, there's a lot of transactions happening, a lot of data that you're gathering from customers. How are you actually managing that? Um, so that would be what we'll be covering for e-commerce. And for digital marketing, we'll be looking at, you know, all the different components of marketing with a focus on digital marketing that's more, I would say, critical for e-commerce. So content mark, we will start with content marketing. Email marketing is one of the big levers for e-commerce. So we'll be looking a lot at that as well. Of course, social media, um, Facebook advertising. We'll also kick off actually the digital marketing cohort with uh, customer segmentation because, you know, the internet's so big. 
So typically uh, for manufacturers, it becomes overwhelming because you don't know who you're supposed to be targeting um, and you have limited resources. So by you know, learning about customer segmentation and building customer personas, it makes your you know, uh, ability to design different pathways or different uh, customer experiences uh, to get to your store so much more strategic and easier. Um, we will also be looking at sales funnels, affiliate marketing, um, Google Shopping, and um, analytics as well. So that you can determine you know, what form of marketing is working better for your site and what it's not. So these, this is just a, you know, a couple of the domain experts who are helping with our program. So they are, you know, their domain of expertise range from basically all the different topics that you see in the slide earlier. And you know, some of them have been working with us ever since uh, we started this program last year. And because you know, our manufacturers have liked them so much, we have gotten them to come back um, you know, and continue helping with um, this program. So this is just a couple of people that you're seeing here on the screen. We have a lot more people, uh, a lot more domain experts who will be joining us to support us with um, the tracks that we're bringing out to um, this cohort. So if what, you, um, if what you're hearing is interesting for you, um, you can definitely contact my colleague, Nicole, to state your interest. Uh, what she will have you do is actually complete an assessment form and through the assessment form, you know, of course you can tell us, okay, I wanna be, I wanna go through the e-commerce track or I wanna go through the digital marketing track, but we will be looking through the assessment form and the information you give us, we'll be doing a review and, you know, deciding which track is actually better for your business. And then we will notify you on the status of your application. One thing that I actually, well, not one thing, things that I want you to consider as, you know, you're applying for this program would be, number one, um, can your company provide at least one dedicated person who will participate fully in a program because from our experience we have seen manufacturers you know um, join a program but because you know of other commitments and or they're too busy they miss a lot of classes or they drop out midway and you know that's not what we are hoping for you so if you know you're unable to participate fully uh, i would recommend that you find someone in your company who can join you so that in case, you know, as the owner, if you're not able to uh, attend, you have someone else who can, you know, cover for you for that class and at least uh, learn what, you know, what went on in the class and what they have, what you would have to do uh, to get through the program. Secondly, um, I would ask you to consider, you know, uh, whether the representatives that you're bringing or sending to this program are digitally savvy. And if they're not, are they teachable? So. Based on our experience in the last two cohorts, you know, I would have to say that a lot of our manufacturers, you know, are not completely digitally savvy. However, you know, I think they have this, um, the urge to learn and the urge to become better. So, you know, if you see that, you know, in yourself or in the representative that you are sending to this program, you know, I think that would be um, important to consider because that would actually ensure you know, that you get the best value for your investment and time in this program um, and also be able to apply what you learn through the program. Um, as I mentioned, we have, you know, I, we created a couple of, uh, we asked for testimonials from manufacturers that, you know, went through the, the different cohorts with us. So this is just a sampling. Feel free to reach out to them to ask them about, you know, their um, experience and what they thought about the program and, you know, um, if they have any words of advice for you to get through it. So we had four companies that we pulled out from cohort one, um, Dana Labels, Mikhail Aloha Popcorn, um, Jade Foods, um, as well as Honolulu Mushroom Company. Uh, for Jade Foods, actually, they participated in both cohort one and two because you know both, both cohorts were a little different. So they wanted to go through it again. Um, so that was really interesting for us. For court two, uh, we had actually 13, for court one, we had nine companies. Court two, we had 13 companies. For court two, you know, um, some of the companies that went through the program with us, as you can see, Aloha Drapery, Sweet Brown Hawaii, uh, Aloha Edibles, and lastly, Kai Wahini Design. So also, I think she's, she was also known as Hawaiian Drift, but she's currently undergoing uh, rebranding. Okay, so with this, I would like to stop my presentation and, you know, um, welcome any questions from anyone.
you can raise your hands or Nicole, I think we are in webinar, not webinar mode, right? We're in meeting mode. Yeah, meeting mode. Yeah, so since we're in meeting mode, if you would like, you can turn on your camera and your microphone and ask a question. But just uh, note that we are recording this session, so you'll be captured in it, you know. So if you don't want to have your face recorded, just you can turn off your camera and just turn on your, your microphone and ask the question. Okay, so Wendy. Hey, Wendy. Um, I think Wendy's from Maui Sweet and Spicy, if it's the same Wendy that I remember. Yes. Wendy, can you help us determine which level we're ready for? Um, Wendy, I know you and I know your company, so I'm, going, I'm definitely putting you through the digital marketing um, cohort, unless you feel that you really want to do a lot more heavy lifting with your e-commerce store. But I, I just checked it a couple of days ago, and it looks so much better. So I would say digital marketing. Any other questions? I'm going to stop my screen share. Let's see. Everyone's really quiet. Okay. So from any kine, from any kine snacks, she, um, the question is for the e-commerce side, is it specific to a platform? I must we use Shopify? No, you don't have to. So what happens for, com for the manufacturers that want to, that need to rebuild their e-commerce site? We actually pair you with a web developer. So there are a lot of conversations that, you know, you would have with them in terms of, you know, what is your, of course, number one, what is your business strategy? And I would say another big thing to think about is who's going to be managing this platform. So if it's just going to be you alone and you don't have resources, then you know, of course, you know, we would recommend something like Shopify, which would be easier for you in terms of management. However, if you're saying, I want to do, you know, really advanced e-commerce in two or three years, then, you know, other platforms like WordPress and WooCommerce might be more suitable for you. But that's a conversation that you would have to have with the web developers that we will pair you with so that, you know, um, there's due diligence done before you jump on any platform. And actually, um, in, for the e-commerce track, one of the classes is going to be on e-commerce platform comparison. So that would also help you determine for your own business what would make more sense. I hope that answered your question. Uh, for Gary, Gary's asking, can you repeat one? Okay, great question, Gary. Sorry, we didn't put it on the slide. So the application um, will actually start today after we, we, end, we end this presentation, but it will be up until... August 11, 5 p.m. Hawaii time. And then Hawaii Peep Skin and Care. Would it be smart to do upgrades? We were planning to do our online store before the court then and then focus on marketing. My answer is yes. Um, if you think about it, your online store is an extension of your offline store. So take away the online store for a moment and just Think about it from the offline store. If your offline store is not in the best condition, you don't want people coming into the store, right? Same thing with the online store. So I would say do not, I typically recommend and advise manufacturers not to put money into digital marketing to bring in people into your store until you know that your store is ready to welcome them. So um, back to your question, uh, I would say any, up, depending on the upgrades that you want to do, and sometimes our manufacturers come to the program, they say, oh, I just want to make some tweaks here and there. But then we do the due diligence with them. And it seems that, you know, there's a lot more that has to be done compared to the tweaks they were thinking about. So it's actually a, a complete website revamped. So I would say focus on the e-commerce platform first, then go on to digital marketing later. Okay. So yeah, so even if you're saying SEO and so on, um, if it's a content base, um, SEO is driven a lot by three aspects, the content that's on the page, there's off page, and then there's the, the backlinks as well that you need to build. So again, it's hard for me to tell you whether it's just uh, surface level changes that you have to make without really seeing your site. But I would say um, if you, you know, either way, you're gonna benefit whether it's the e-commerce track or digital marketing, to advise you is to put in your application so that we know, um, you know, if, if you're a good fit for the program. Okay, let's see. I think we are done with all the questions.
questions. We just we'll just hang around a little bit more. See if anyone else has. Okay. No questions from anyone else. Yes, so if you're interested or if you have other questions, feel free to email Nicole um, at nicole at hdc.org. Uh, she just left it in the chat. Okay. Okay, so um, let's call, let's just give another minute for any more questions. If not, then we'll just call an end to the session. It's recorded, so you can rewatch it later. Um, Then maybe, Nicole, do you want to just leave the application deadline again mm -hmm. in, in chat? And I'll leave the link. Definitely. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, no question mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a hard deadline, August 11, 5 p.m. HST. Um, the reason why it's a hard deadline, um, it's because we need time to review your applications and then, you know, do some paperwork with you if you're admitted into the program. Okay, so if there are no other questions, you know, we are always here. Just email us, um, you know, if you think of anything after this. If not, you know, rewatch the recording and we hope to see um, most, or if not all of you, in, in this upcoming cohort. Thank you. Thanks, Ellen. Thanks, Nicole.